Hey y'all, good morning. How y'all doing? So today we are going to talk about Gingham Gorgeous. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Hippie Hustle. Go ahead and subscribe. We're gonna talk about Bath and Body Works, running and books. So here we are. I just want y'all to take a moment to look at my shirt. It says, books are my love language. I went to black lit in texas back in july and i just love that place i spent so much money the, i got to talk to the owner i just loved it so if you are in texas and you want the experience of going to a black owned bookstore go ahead and try check out black lit i do have a video of my experience which i am going to put in the cards there all right so let's get into this fragrance welcome back to a week of gingham where we talk about gingham Flankers. So yesterday I talked about Gingham Blue. Today I'm going to be talking about Gingham Gorgeous. And admittedly, this is probably one of my favorites of the Ginghams. All right, so let's talk about it. The notes for Gingham Gorgeous are pink strawberries, peach nectar, and peony blooms. And this is just a fresh, fruity, sweet scent. So think like Audrey Hepburn, like when she's trying to be fun and flirty think um, events, it's a non-offensive sweet scent. So no one is gonna smell you and be like, oh, she smells too sweet or whatever. It just smells so good. So as far as a rating, I probably would give it a 3.5 star only because it's not a beast mode scent. This one you'll have to pair you'll have to reapply I wouldn't say every two hours but that's okay to me because y'all know me y'all know how I, I roll so with this one I bought this I want to say the sass of no I bought this in the fall I want to say and I have been in love ever since I never did pick up the lotion because I picked up the body butters with one of those body butter sales and it is just awesome so take a look at it like I have used this baby up, honey. I'm trying to get you some good lighting. There you go. And it, I don't know what they've been putting in their body butters, but they have just really been doing a good job. Like you see that? You see that? They have just been doing such a good job. So I just love this scent to completion. It's a soft, like I said, peachy strawberry scent. It smells like are obviously artificial strawberries not that like super berry tart berry scent but like an artificial strawberry sweet scent so yeah <laughs> that's it <laughs> like i love it cut video <laughs> no nah, i'm just playing so let's talk about what i've paired it with i have paired it with ariana grande sweet as candy um sweet as candy is a sponge sugary berry scent so that kind of pairs with anything that in your collection that smells sweet and has strawberries in there but my number one banger is burberry her so burberry her is also like a powdery strawberry it has taken the internet by the storm i think it came out last year and together these two they kill it they kill it so other things you can pair it with you can pair i have paired it with my kkw uh beige i think that's the name of it and it's a peach scent um so you can bring out that peach nectar again it's not like a strict airy peach but it's that nectar so that honeyness of the peach is what um this this fragrance has inside of there so yeah any strawberry scent you have in your collection or you could wear it by yourself by itself so i don't know if they came out with a perfume with this one because if they did i i'm I, I, I gonna go get it so i no longer do backups in my collection so i won't be getting a backup of it but i love it so very much and i just wear it i, I probably wear it like once every two weeks so gingham gorgeous we love you girl so let's compare it to some things the first thing i want to compare it to and i would say that it's a cousin with is sun blooms and suede sun bloom and suede's notes are white raspberry pink petal and vanilla cream i'm thinking that pink petal is more like a of a peony note or some type of floral and they both are just like fresh sweet scents so i would say they're cousins they're kind of in the same family neither one of them are gourmands they're like fruity florals and yeah so 
if you have sun blooms and suede and you want to get gingham gorgeous go ahead and get it because they are two separate scents strawberry snowflakes and the notes for strawberry snowflakes are juicy strawberry whipped cream and iced bergamot this one is also a nice sweet strawberry scent this one that bergamot makes gives it a little bit more depth in the whipped cream um this one also is a little bit more beast mode i do feel like they are in the same family they may be like cousins distant cousins but they are not the same so if you have one go ahead and get the other it's okay girl um just for all intents and purposes i got another floral raspberry this one is blush cardigan which came out in sass uh the summer the notes for this one are sweet raspberry sugar dip violet and warm vanilla two totally different scents this is a heavy floral and they are two totally different scents so if you got this one you can get this one or if you have this one you can go ahead and get this one it's okay girl and lastly i want to compare it to pink chiffon and that's more so for the color so pink chiffon is sparkling red pear jasmine petals tiara flower vanilla orchid and chiffon musk um pink let me yeah, pink chiffon is a juicy, sweet red pear. And obviously this is a soft floral strawberry. So they are two separate scents. I love pink sh sh chiffon. Do you have pink chiffon? I got this one at Sass um, of last summer. Last summer Sass, I went hamburger. Okay, I wanna say, I'm on Sass of 2022. I went hamburger. So I got this one there and I just love it and i'll probably do a video on this one sometime because i feel like it doesn't get its flowers but they are two different scents and lastly i couldn't find my spray i wanted to compare it to triple berry martini triple berry martini is strawberry sugar black raspberry liqueur and pomegranate juice um this is a sparkling sweet strawberry they are like first cousins like you probably could fra fragrance layer these together and get away with it because both of them are banger scents. Um, I would venture to probably say if you have triple berry martini, you got a whole bunch of different other ones because I frequently compare triple berry martini to some other things um, that have come out. I feel like they just replicate this one over and over and over again. Nonetheless, go ahead and I, I would probably say if you have this one, you don't need to pick this one up yes yeah, so yeah so that concludes my little review of gingham gorgeous do you have gingham gorgeous and if you have what do you wear it with and what do you think about it okay love y'all have a great day bye